Do Pokemon exist in reality? Can they be caught by you or I? You'd think the answer is no, right? Well, there's a chance you're wrong. These are Pokemon characters caught in real life. Number 20. Torterra Mary River Turtle Torterra is a large quadrupedal Pokemon that looks like a tortoise. It has a large shell on its back, little stone protrusions that look like mountain peaks, and a single tree on its shell. You might also notice white surrounding the shell, a green upper body and brown lower body, and a jagged mouth like that of a snapping turtle. Torterra isn't the most desirable Pokemon, but it is actually based on a real animal that has been caught in real life. Torterra is based on the Mary River Turtle, which is a short-necked turtle from the Mary River in southeast Queensland, Australia. It's endangered and was first discovered in 1994 after eluding capture for nearly three decades. Like the Pokemon, it has a large shell and it looks like it has trees growing on it, although unlike the Pokemon character, the real turtle has strands of algae that look like hair. As a result, it is informally referred to as the green-haired turtle. That might be why in the anime, you'll notice that Torterra has predominant vibrant green all over the upper half of its body before changing to brown where the tree features on its body. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. Pidgey is a fan favorite Pokemon, but did you know they sort of exist in real life? On the left side of this image, you'll see the Pokemon character Pidgey, and on the right, you'll see a real bird. How's this for a coincidence? A young girl took the photo of the bird on the right when she was playing Pokemon Go on her phone. Running around catching Pokemon, she was shocked when she stumbled upon what looked like a Pokemon in real life. She quickly turned off the Pokemon Go app, opened up the camera app, and took the photo. Incredible, isn't it? A real example of when Pokemon characters are caught in real life. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Wooper Axolotl Every Pokemon fan has a Pokemon they wish was real, and two that often feature on the lists of many fans are Wooper and Mudkip. Mudkip is a water-type starter Pokemon that was introduced in Generation 3, while Wooper was a water and ground-type Pokemon introduced in Generation 2. While you'll never find accurate, authentic versions of these two Pokemon, you will find something that's pretty darn close, and that's the Axolotl. Once you see the resemblance, you won't be able to unsee it. In real life, axolotls are Mexican walking fish from Lake Xochimilco and Lake Chalco in Mexico. They grow up to about 18 inches and have large tails, branch-like gills that extend from their heads, and eyes featuring no eyelids. And guess what? Whoopers and mudkips share these features. For example, the size range of axolotls is 6 to 18 inches, and mudkip and whooper are about 16 inches. Sure, real-life axolotls aren't blue, but they can have unusual colors like pink and gold. The real-life axolotl and Pokemon characters also have small, black, beady eyes and live in wet places like wetlands and swamps. Like the Mexican walking fish, you might also notice that these characters are incredibly docile. I'd say that if you own an axolotl or have seen one, you're looking at something that's as close to a Pokemon as you can get. Number 18. Drowsy Tapers Okay, it won't take an expert to work out that Pokemon character creators drew inspiration from one animal in particular when they developed Drowsy. Going by that nose and just the overall features, it is closely linked to Tapers. Tapers are large herbivores from South America, Central America, and Southeast Asia that look a bit like pigs. They have short nose trunks, grow up to about six and a half feet long, and weigh up to 700 pounds. Then you look at the Generation 1 Psychic-type Pokemon and it all starts making sense. It's a bipedal Pokemon that looks like a Taper, with its short trunk, brown and yellow body, and triangular ears. Like the real Taper, Drowsy has short legs, a round belly, and brown feet except for the addition of two yellow toes. That's pretty much where the similarities end though, because they don't really share the same personalities and behaviors. Drowsy evolves into Hypno at about level 26 and can put people to sleep. They can also sense their dreams, which isn't something we think real-life tapers can do. You know, I haven't asked any. Drowsy also eat people's dreams and prefer those of children as they tend to be tastier. It's thought that if a victim experiences
experiences an itchy nose while they sleep, it's because a drowsy is eating their dreams through their nose. Number 17. Heliolisk Helioptile Electric Frilled Lizard Out of all real-life animals to look like Pokemon creatures, the electric frilled lizard would have to be one of the most obvious. This real-life creature looks like a Heliolisk Helioptile, right down to the size and frilled neck. Heliolisk Helioptile is a dual-type Pokemon resulting from the Helioptile when it's exposed to a sunstone. It was first introduced in Generation 6. It's a lizard-type Pokemon with pale yellow and black coloring, a pointed head, three toes on each foot, and frills that function a bit like solar panels to help it make its own energy and survive without food in the desert. Its major weakness relates to the disruption of this process. If it can't generate energy, it becomes very weak. The real-life electric frilled lizard shares many of its physical features, such as the frilled neck. Except, rather than using it for energy, it expands the frills and opens its mouth wide to imitate a would-be predator. Real-life frilled lizards can grow up to nearly 2.8 feet long and weigh about one pound. Heliolisks only seem to be slightly longer, but they are much, much heavier at closer to 50 pounds. Number 16. Stunfisk Stargazer I have to admit, I think I'd prefer to hang out with the fictional Stunfisk Pokemon character than the real-life animal that it's based on, the Stargazer. Even though the Stunfisk appears to be developed from a marine creature, it's actually a fifth-generation ground and electric type Pokemon species. It doesn't evolve from or into any other Pokemon and just sort of exists with a few different strengths up its sleeve. It's flat with a mud brown and broad body, a yellow tail, and oval-shaped eyes. It lives in mud flats and coastal areas and has organs that allow it to generate electricity. If someone were to step on it, they could be zapped. If the Stunfisk isn't able to zap its prey, it can flop away from it with a surprising amount of speed. This Pokemon first featured in Facing Fear with Eyes Wide Open when Ash and his friends were seen as intruders by Palpitoad and Stunfisk. To be honest, the real-life Stargazer isn't all that much different. They, too, are flat, brown, and wide-bodied. They also have upward-facing mouths and bury themselves in the sand to ambush prey. Some species have venomous spines to take down prey, but many also have electric organs to deliver electric shocks like the Stunfisk. Number 15. Gorobis Long-Nosed Chimera Pokemon developers really pulled one out of the bag when they created the Gorobis. They took a terrifying marine creature and actually somehow made it cute. I didn't think that was possible, but what do I know? The long-nosed Chimera, or Rhino Chimeridae, is a cartilaginous fish family that lives in temperate and tropical seas up to 6,560 feet below the ocean surface. As their name suggests, they have incredibly long noses that are generally in the shape of paddles or cones. These noses have strange sensory nerve endings that allow them to find small fish and other food. Long-nosed Chimera can grow up to about 4.6 feet long, and they have dorsal fins with venomous spines that they can use in defense. And then there's the Gorobis, a cute water-type Pokemon first introduced in Generation 3. The Gorobis is a pink serpentine Pokemon that has a long, pointed, thin mouth like that of the long-nosed Chimera. Except the Gorobis uses its mouth to carry out the horrifying act of stabbing its prey and draining its body fluid. Like the Chimera, though, this Pokemon lives in the deep sea, so they both at least share that in common. Number 14. Crocodile Gharial Crocodile is a crocodile-like Pokemon that was introduced in Generation 5 games Black and White. It's about 4 feet 11 inches long, weighs over 200 pounds, and is an angry and intimidating Pokemon that you really wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of. Much like the animal it gets its inspiration from, really. The Crocodile looks a bit like a Gharial, which is a fish-eating crocodile from the Gaviolidae family. They grow up to about 15 feet and can weigh about 350 pounds. While Gharials are slightly larger than the Crocodile Pokemon, they do have a lot of physical features in common. The Crocodile has a thick body with maroon, black, and white coloring, while the Gharial also has a thick body. Their coloring tends to be more olive to black and brown, but they share the same white bellies. They also both have short, bulky legs and very sharp teeth to use for defense and attack. In Pokemon Black, the Crocodile was described as never allowing prey to escape and had powerful jaws that could crush cars. 
In Pokemon White, they were said to be able to expand the focus of their eyes to see in the distance. That rings true in the Animal Kingdom. The Gharial has an incredible bite force of up to 451 pound force, or 2006 Newtons. I wouldn't mess with the real life animal or the Pokemon. Number 13. Magikarp, Carp, and Koi. Some people claim that the Pokemon Magikarp looks like a yellow rockfish, but take a minute to break down the actual name of the Pokemon. Magikarp. Carp as in carp, as in carp the fish. The Japanese name for Magikarp is also Koi Kingu, and Koi are domesticated carp that have been bred for generations as ornamental subspecies. So when you start comparing the Magikarp Pokemon to these two fish, carp and Koi, you'll begin to notice quite a few similarities. Sure, Magikarp is orange like a goldfish, but the presence of barbels, which are a type of sensory organs that Koi have, rules out that theory. Quite like the Pokemon, the real-life carp and koi aren't exactly the great whites of the animal kingdom. Sure, they adapt well to a wide variety of environments and are the largest of their fish family, but they aren't really all that powerful. And you can definitely say the same about Magikarp, which most people will say isn't their favorite. It's weak and is often described as the world's weakest Pokemon. And when you learn that its attack mechanism is to splash around, that pretty much rings true. Carp and koi aren't that much different. They can flap around in the water and use their strength to fight Fight, but that's about it. Number 12. Sand Shrew, Sunda Pangolin. The Sand Shrew is a bipedal mammalian Pokemon with a dry, tough, yellow hide, pointed snout, triangular ears, and blue eyes. Its tail is also thick, and it has long claws on each foot. This Pokemon spends most of its time hiding in deep burrows and only comes out to dine on bug-type Pokemon. To protect itself from threats, it throws sand at its attackers, and it can also curl into a tight ball to prevent injuries from attacks. This Pokemon was introduced in Generation 1, and from Level 22, it evolves into Sand Slash. If you know this Pokemon looks familiar but you can't quite think of why, check out a photo of the real-life Sunda Pangolin. They are almost identical. Pangolins, or scaly anteaters as they're also known, are found in Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa. They are yellowish mammals that live in burrows or hollow trees and have scales just like those you recognize on the sand shrew. Their scales are hard, large, and overlapping, and they are made of the same materials our fingernails are. Like the sand shrew, they curl up into a ball when they feel under threat, and their scales are actually sharp to become an extra layer of protection. Just like the Pokemon as well, they feast on insects. Number 11. Caterpie, Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar. Not to be awfully specific, but the Caterpie Pokemon looks just like the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar. In fact, the two are so similar that a talented animations expert may make it impossible for you to tell them apart. First of all, the real Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar itself doesn't even look real. It's of an unnaturally vibrant green and has eyes that look like they've been painted on. This butterfly from Eastern North America grows up to about 2.2 inches long and has green coloring with two black, blue, and yellow eyes spots positioned on its thorax. As it's not exactly the most ferocious creature, it has to have a few defense strategies up its sleeve. These caterpillars use their coloring and eye spots to discourage birds from eating them. They also have orange, fleshy organs that release awful-smelling terpenes. The Caterpie Pokemon looks pretty much the same. They too have green bodies, along with a yellow underside and tail, and a cute little squishy orange set of eyebrows that may relate to that orange, fleshy organ on the real Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillars. The Caterpie was introduced in Generation 1 with the hidden ability of being able to run away. It'll evolve into a Metapod from Level 7 and can then become a Butterfree Pokemon from Level 10. Number 10. Pikachu, Ili Pika. Even people who know nothing about Pokemon know who Pikachu is. This creature is basically the icon of Pokemon. Like all Pokemon characters, it's fictional, but what if we were to tell you that it may be based on a real-life animal? Prepare to have your mind blown. While we can't actually confirm if the Ely Pika is the animal chosen to develop the Pikachu form, it would be a pretty odd coincidence if you ask me. 
The Ili Pika isn't yellow, but it is a tiny, adorable creature from a remote part of China that has a number of features comparable to Pikachu. They both look ridiculously cute, and they both seem to have the same overall body type. Although the Pika is under 8 inches tall, whereas Pikachu is about 1 foot 4 inches tall. Pikachu also weighs about 6 kilograms or 13 pounds, whereas Ili Pika is about 0.35 kilograms or 0.77 pounds. Unfortunately, we may not be able to draw comparisons going forward. The Ili Pika is going extinct, with under a thousand of them thought to exist in their natural habitat of herbs, shrubbery, and grasses at high elevations of up to 13,450 feet. Number 9. Ursa Ring – Asian Black Bear the resemblance is uncanny when you put the normal type Generation 2 Pokemon Ursaring next to an Asian Black Bear. Sure, the Asian Black Bear is black and Ursaring is brown, but there are plenty of other similarities. Let's first focus on their stomachs. Asian black bears have a white V-shaped chest mark, and your attention is drawn to the chest of Ursaring, which has a distinctive yellow ring on its stomach. Ursaring also has a broad body, a black triangular nose, a wide mouth, small fangs in the upper jaw, and short hind legs. Asian black bears look pretty similar with these notable features as well. They have slender limbs, large lower jaws, and powerful upper bodies for climbing trees. In contrast, their hind legs are weak and shorter than those of brown bears and American black bears. The Ursa Ring Pokemon is a good climber, just like the Asian black bear, but it prefers to snap trees using its forelegs and eat fallen berries. It also sleeps and eats in the treetops and can uncover food that has been buried to eat. This is probably where Asian black bears differ, since they prefer to sleep in dens, but will rest in nests on trees about 15 feet from the ground. Number 8. Kabuto – Horseshoe Crab Kabuto is a dual-type rock and water fossil Pokemon that was first introduced in Generation 1. It comes from a dome fossil and evolves from level 40 into Kabutops. It'll only take you a few seconds to work out what the Kabuto Pokemon looks like – a horseshoe crab. It has a brown protective shell over its body, two small black eyes on the top of its shell, and four short yellow legs. There's also a pair of red eyes on the underside of its shell. This Pokemon is an excellent and fast swimmer and hasn't changed for 300 million years. Both Kabuto and Horseshoe Crabs are arthropods, and like Kabuto, the Horseshoe Crab hasn't changed for millions of years. They live in warm, shallow water and will hunt prey on the bottom of the ocean. However, Kabuto generally hunts on land and uses its long legs and scythes for this task. So they aren't identical in all ways. Both Kabuto and Horseshoe Crabs don't seem all that extraordinary, but there must be a reason why they've remained unchanged for millions of years. They have pretty good armor, which is emphasized in Pokemon. Kabuto has Swift Swim, Battle Armor, and Weak Armor abilities. Battle Armor allows it to avoid critical hits, while Swift Swim doubles its speed in the rain. Weak Armor lowers defenses and raises speed when it's hit by a contact move. Number 7. Zigzagoon Raccoon it doesn't take a genius to work out what the Zigzagoon Pokemon looks like. Just look at its stripes and the black burglar strip across its eyes. Or just listen to its name. It's a raccoon, of course. Its Japanese species name, Jigu Zaguma, even means raccoon dog Pokemon. So that's a pretty good hint. Well, except for the dog part, because that looks like no dog I've ever seen. Zigzagoon is a Generation 3 normal type Pokemon that evolves into Galarian Linoon at about level 20 and then into Obstagoon at night from about level 35. It has bristly fur in a zigzag pattern of brown and cream, a brown head, spiky ears, and a black nose. There's also a black mask pattern across its brown eyes, and its jagged mouth reveals two pointed teeth. Now let's take a look at a real-life raccoon from North America. These medium-sized mammals have a grayish-brown coat, dexterous front paws, a ringed tail, and dense underfur that makes them look bristly just like the Zigzagoon. Like the Zigzagoon, they also have a facial mask that is surrounded by white to make it stand out even more. Number 6. Crow Gunk – Amazonian Dart Frog 
The Krogunk is an unusual poison and fighting type Generation 4 Pokemon. It's a toxic mouth Pokemon with anticipation, dry skin, and poison touch as its abilities. You may also notice that it looks a bit like a poison dart frog. The Krogunk is dark blue with yellow eyes, black marks, orange cheek pouches, and flat, wide teeth. You may also notice black markings on its chest and arms, white bands around the chest, and three fingers and toes. Krogunk is classed as a reasonably docile Pokemon and will only fight when it has to. When it does, it'll use its croaking voice to distract its opponent before stabbing them with its fingers. Real poison dart frogs are native to tropical Central and South America and also have brightly colored bodies. Their brightness reflects their toxicity, which acts as a deterrent for would-be predators. These frogs get their poison from their diet of mites, termites, and ants, and humans often use their toxic secretions to make blow darts, hence the name. Their defense strategy is probably the biggest difference between the actual dart frog and the crow gunk. The crow gunk has toxic fingers to jab at prey, whereas poison dart frogs have poison in their skin glands. Number 5. Bufalant Bison the normal type Generation 5 Bufalant Pokemon is so much like a real animal, the bison, that you'd have a hard time telling them apart. You might even be tempted to catch one if you saw one in the wild, which we totally don't recommend or advise doing, because spoiler alert, they aren't the same thing. Bufalant is a brown, buffalo-like Pokemon with large horns, a fuzzy head, two gold rings around its horns, and shaggy brown fur with a large hump. You may also notice that it has a pale brown face with yellow eyes, a gray muzzle, a small tail, and large gray hooves. If that doesn't describe an actual buffalo, I don't know what does. The Bufalant doesn't evolve, and its abilities are reckless, sap zipper, and soundproof. Its fluffy fur can absorb damage in a battle, even if it's delivering a fierce headbutt. Bufalant is known to charge wildly at everything, and has enough destructive force to derail a train. It can also crush cars with a single headbutt. A real bison strength isn't much different, to be honest. They can weigh up to 2,800 pounds or 1,270 kilograms, and pair this heft with an unprecedented predictable nature. They can appear lazy and peaceful before a switch is flicked and they start attacking for no reason. They can travel at speeds of up to 35 miles an hour or 56 kilometers and use their heads as battering rams. Even their hind legs are capable of killing people and animals. Number 4. Imolga, Japanese Dwarf Flying Squirrel the Japanese Dwarf Flying Squirrel is an 8-inch squirrel that's native to Japan and lives in evergreen forests and subalpine forests of Honshu and Kyushu Islands. As they have membranes that connect their ankles to their wrists, they're able to glide from tree to tree to feast on buds, bark, fruit, seeds, and leaves. They have no particular threats and have gray-brown fur with a white belly, large eyes, and a flattened tail. These adorable little critters are a delight to observe, and that might be why a Pokemon that looks just like the Japanese Dwarf Flying Squirrel, is quite popular. Emolga is a Generation 5 dual-type electric and flying Pokemon that doesn't evolve from or into any other Pokemon. Just like the real squirrel, the Pokemon is rodent-like with black eyes and a tiny nose. However, it has a few features that differ. For example, it's black and white with yellow cheek patches, inner ears, and wings. The Pokemon can also create electricity in sacks located within its cheeks and store it inside its membranes. How it lives each day is pretty similar to the real deal, though. It, too, can glide from tree to tree, and it can eat berries and bugs. Number 3. Mankey, Japanese Macaque Mankey is a Generation 1 fighting-type Pokemon that evolves into Primeape from level 28. From its coloring to its personality, it's clear to see Mankey got some of its inspiration from the Japanese macaque. Mankey is bipedal with a round body, shaggy white fur, and a pig-like nose. It also has triangular ears, three-fingered hands, two-toed feet, and a curved brown tail. The real Japanese macaque has gray-brown fur, a short tail, and a pinkish-red face. Its bushy fur really makes it look like the Pokemon character. Mankey is definitely a Pokemon you'd want to have on your side. While they're generally calm, they have a quick and bad temper and can fly into a rage. Thanks to their fast footwork and agility, they can quickly take the upper hand in a fight. And to be honest, Japanese macaques aren't that much different. These intelligent animals have many aggressive encounters, and they even use a specific sound, like a coup, to antagonize other monkeys during a fight. Many of the fights they have relate to rankings in groups. Males have a dominance hierarchy, and there can only be one alpha male in each group. 
Number 2. Poliwhirl Glass Frog Tadpole Poliwhirl is a Generation 1 water-type Pokemon that evolves from the Poliwag at level 25 and then into the Poliwrath when exposed to a Politoed or Waterstone. This unique Pokemon can absorb dampness or water and its hidden ability is Swift Swim. These are unique abilities, but its appearance is even more unique. The Poliwhirl has a spherical body with bulbous eyes, a black and white swirl on its belly, and white gloves on its hands and feet. It can move on land, but prefers to stay in lakes and ponds where it has fewer natural enemies. The swirl on the Poliwhirl's stomach is its most prominent feature, and you might be wondering what that swirl actually is. If this Pokemon was created from the creature we think it is, then it's actually its internal organs showing through. You see, Poliwhirl looks an awful lot like the Glass Frog Tadpole. These Costa Rican tadpoles are transparent and have neatly coiled intestines showing through the skin and around the stomach area. It's quite gross to look at in real life, so Pokemon did a great job of making it less disgusting. Scientists don't actually know why this animal or others like it are transparent, but they think it might be a form of camouflage or to help the function of the organs. Number 1. Shellos Chromodorus Loki Sea Slugs Shellos is a cute Generation 4 water-type Pokemon that is quite obviously based on a sea slug. More specifically, the Chromodorus Loki sea slug. They both appear to be a blue-like color and with the same frilly edges. Although, there are actually two types of Shellos, the West Sea and the East Sea. West Sea is pink and white, whereas the East Sea is blue and green. Both are found on each side of Sinnoh's mountain range. Both types have slug-like bodies and mantles covering the upper halves of their bodies. However, some other features are unique to each Shellos type and aren't found on the real-life sea slug. For example, Shellos have bulbous heads and four tiny feet, whereas the real sea slug has one large foot. Both Shellos also have wide yellow lips and black oval-shaped eyes with yellow around the edges. The West Sea Shellos has spike-like protrusions on its mantle, and the East Sea Shellos has flap-like protrusions. It may seem absurd that we've gotta catch them all. After all, Pokemon feature in TV shows, movies, games, and trading cards, not real life. Although, there is proof that you can catch Pokemon characters in real life. Uh, kinda. Which one do you think was as close to real as possible? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!